see this is a jasmine uh, soap you can see the jasmine petals here and all so this is one cute little one and this is one is fruit base as i told you colors keep changing because of chemical reactions so inside you will find lemon gratings that's a lemon peel and uh, uh, this one has orange inside orange gratings are there you can see at the back also and the rose petals also are there we can do combinations also there is no rule that everything has to be the same and here it is pure rose you can see all the rose petals and you can see at the back total green it has turned into green though originally it was jet red color this is the same rose petals that are used but that is the turning of the change of color as i told you we have got the chemicals and those elements which will make the change so that is the reason they will happen like that and carotenoids and chlorophyll and this is pure aloe vera gel so samples all the samples individually i am showing thank you so this is what is today's lesson namaste my dear friends and my dear loving students today you must be wondering what happened to my mom why is she with the mask and all so as you all know every time i say now it is covid 19 our sis kuch corona series so in kuch corona series before i told you how to use ipa plus uh, aloe vera plus rose essence and made a homemade um, our hand sanitizer and for several days i am feeling this small bottle made and kept almost one liter it is so this is again once again this is also homemade sanitizer so i have said that so today many many are making many fancy masks just for fun or for serious i don't know so i thought so much of effort is put in with embroidery ornaments this that and all so i thought i will use a very simplest method this is not suitable for regularly virus or anything just for your dust proof double layer and being so socks and knitted it will be better than the other ordinary cloth so this is what i have just done sample i'm going to really show you you can take any new simple short socks like this it need should we don't need a longer one because generally even it is whatever may be the size of the face the small size medium size or small size is enough so like that i have taken one socks now i'm going to cut in front of you and tell you how to make see this generally uh, where the heel will be there you can take it and then cut the other half here what is not required so here i am trying to cut the socks that's all i removed this is unnecessary for us i removed this socks and then i have got both the sides equal so now having done i am just trying to chain it and then cut it so how do we do that where to cut anywhere you can cut also no problem here since the needle place uh, uh, wide will be more it is better you make sure that it comes to the center that is near the nose so then after that you make two sides a uh, just a cut for about 50% on this side i have done up to 50% i have made a cut similarly i am coming to this side also and just before the edge not to the edge so that this piece will get into your yes that's all no stitching nothing ordinary knitted cotton socks that's all so now it became our mask 
So you can see it now. The way when I wear it, it will be visible for you. The one what I was wearing was the same one, the other one. So like this, any number of ones. Every day you can wash it and then reuse it. Only thing is ensure that don't think that it is a proper medicated socks uh, one or anything. Oh yeah. Okay. Now you are free from dust. Cover it properly from top to chin. This is my one second. I have done it in one second. So what you require is a just a cotton sock so that you will have a proper breathing and then you can also use it. So everything related to our Corona time, I am trying to help you with simple Chitkas. So now we are moving out with what exactly is today's class. So again back to my Kuch Corona series. So today again kitchen chemistry and we are going to do something really fascinating for you. You can see my all kitchen ingredients here and then I don't know whether you can identify seeing all these things or not. What am I going to do? So today's lesson is on saponification. What is saponification? Have you heard of the word any time? You know, I'm sure by 10th standard the children in, in organic chemistry they will come across the word saponification. When I say biochemistry word, you will others may think what is the saponification? But it is simple soap making. How to make soaps? And then when will the soap becomes so that in practical, I am going to, talk, to show this and another thing is, I, it's a very my sincere advice to the students, all of you don't take science, don't become doctors, don't become a pure, pure scientist or anything. Some of you may go and take, go, switch over to pure sciences, some of you may become doctors or some of you may take varied professions in science. Most of you may settle with commerce or arts, humanities or anything. But don't forget what the science you are learning till 10th standard. That is my thing. Most of them are useful in your daily life. So that is the reason we spend, I am not saying anything today from beauty angle. I am saying from the hygiene angle. And from hygiene angle, most of the vegetables and fruits what we eat, they all contain, including the peel, loads and loads of vitamins and minerals which we are just dumping in the dustbin and throwing away. So today my particularly for non-science ladies or non-science students who are not going to take up science, they should remember this word saponification and then they should try to use the best use of the fruits and vegetable peels that we are always throwing it. So that is the main concept of saponification. So what exactly is saponification? See we all most of the things fatty oils. So either you take it as uh, natural oils, vegetable oils, which coconut oil is the best one. So otherwise you will have almond oil also, coconut oil also, and then whatever it is. So many other ways other than uh, uh, animal source, we have got vegetable and palm oil or your or sunflower oil. Most of these oils are all vegetable oils. And in that, Coconut oil and almond oil, that they are the best suitable for so making the soups because we are using from the hygiene point of it and we are going to using use it as a cleansing mechanism for the body skin. So what actually reaction takes place in saponification when the oil combines with combined conversion of oil and lipids or anything, we take it for to make the soap. That is any OH. So now coming to, I have, you have to know another word also pH. What is pH? You have to know every item, either it will be alkaline or it will be acidic. So pH center point, if it is on a scale of 7, it is neutral. 0 to 7, it is acidic. 0 to 4, it is highly acidic. Some are 5 to 7, it will be weak acid. Again from 7 to uh, some around 11 it is weak base, then 11 to 14 it is very highly alkaline. 
So what is good for the soap? Can you imagine the acid? You all know that acids burn. So a soap can never be acidic. Soaps have to get converted into matrix mild alkaline state. That means its pH value should become cross 7. Ideally is between 8 to 11. So that it will be mild, mildly alkaline and then a lot of cleaning mechanism will happen. So your pores, the dust filled pores on the skin will be opened and then cleaned. So that is the purpose of a soap. Not for uh, dark people becoming white or anything. I don't get into beauty, but I see many, many, many fake uh, YouTube uh, uh, things saying that in three minutes you become showing the hands. Don't believe children, particularly 10 standard children. Don't get into that drama and then unnecessarily spoil your skin. No such magic will happen. You are internally, if you take vitamin E, which are rich, particularly your. Um, greens which are rich in vitamin E, the more with your food if the vitamin E goes well, your butter, your fatty acids are rich in vitamin E. So when you take that, that will give the glow. So whatever is then dust particles will automatically attract. So you have to do a cleaning mechanism using a good organic soap. So don't get carried away by the commercial brands. So they will not be high on glycerin. Glycerin is very, very safe. So what releases when you do the soap, that glycerin is the best thing. So since now we are in a lockdown period, coming to today's activity, I have preferred PS soap. So PS you can see, it is uh, very high on, 98% high on glycerin. The best soap, very age old soap, maybe from my childhood I am using only the PS. So that is why I trust that. If you want, you can use any other whatever you are using it just for fancy. But for a hygiene part of it, to make organic soaps at home, since you all know very well that I never do lesson. I have an activity or an experiment related to know that, so that concept is set well in your mind. So almost I am getting excellent feedback. This also I have added uh, soaps. Because if I simply say chemistry lessons of purification, you may feel that like, oh ma'am, again you are coming us. So I, I have, that is a very little only science concept I have taken. Now more of your fantastic, your fascinate topic. So shall we move on? How to do really organic soap at home with all the waste material that is in the house. Why particularly I am saying waste material because we have the tendency to throw away all the peels. So now coming to the point. So I, as I told you, I have taken the PS soap. I have kept all these flowers, whatever I could find in my garden only I have done. So today we are going to make a rose uh, soap. See, you can see the rose essence I have extracted and kept already. So this is the rose uh, uh, essence from this rose. Then uh, neem. We have taken the neem for a neem extract is ready here. White and this one very lovely aroma they have got. So uh, taken jasmine and uh, other uh, for uh, 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 these are all flower based and then this one these are all fruit based. So mango peel and uh, lemon peel, orange peel, papaya peel and musk melon peel. Not one is a few pure fruit, just the through which we throw and have taken. Only thing is I have to cut them into small pieces and do one minute steam cooking so that any moisture or anything will go and it will not dampen our uh, life of a soap. I have taken the precaution to prevent uh, anything external if they have sprayed anything. So I have done one minute steam cooking. So let's go on with each ingredient how to go about. So, I have kept ready to save the time. Very simple. PS soaps you can see so nicely when they are kept like that as a, the shape also. So these pieces are cut like that. Particularly for rose, I, I just wanted that rose that the white and the, uh, red color petals to be seen. Let me see how this will come. So we are going to and here I have already these are not aloe vera I have because before I have done aloe vera pure. Now I have taken it as a general purpose from aloe vera extract, uh, the inside 
what how we get. I am not showing it because I, for time saving I have already kept ready. And, and these are all whatever is available in the house I have kept for a mold. So this is also to saving the mechanism I have done first only. So what is that extra now I have kept? Because skin requires lots of uh, vitamin E. I have just taken the vitamin E capsules ready from the market. So these two I am going to make a general, uh, generally everything. So these extracts, E, this is the one, this, e, these are all optional, there is no rule that you must use it, but I am using it because we are doing everything for good health, good skin and as a moisturizer as well as as a cleaning agent. So, These are all purely optional children, don't think uh, it's a must, it's not a must. But since when we are doing it, let us do the best. So I am adding the vitamin E extract. Since many varieties are there, otherwise you can use or not use, I told you, it's not at all important. So, let me add this is a separately I have kept as I told you for doing rose so that the petals that the white and uh, I actually Amazon you can order soap base that will be transparent and white and once you get the soap base it is easy to do you don't even know, you need to use the BS or something so that will work out you cheaper also and better also for you. Since now all are closed, I am using the ready soap only instead of using. So this is an addition of uh, vitamin E buying the ready capsules. So now what happened, we already kept the aloe vera which is the best again rich in vitamin E from the garden uh, one leaf I have taken the extraction of jelly. Then we are also added these things and I am going to add a little pinch of lemon juice. This base I am making it ready since lemon is also very good for uh, skin. So it is not much, we are not using much. We are just adding a pinch of it. These are all like as I told you to make the soap you don't have to make. Commercial ones whether they use or not I don't know. But this whatever is good for the skin I am trying to add. Because uh, again uh, uh, lemon is acidic. Too much is not good. So it may spoil the uh, proportion also. And what should be the proportion? Yes I have to tell you. If it is sometimes some will say that it did not come, it did not solidify only. So the soap should be 60% and your other things should be less than 30, 20, 40. Not 40, 60, 40 is an ideal ratio. Otherwise again that will be in a liquid form. So try to take as much as possible 60, 40 ratio. Otherwise to become solid it will take a long time. Then coming to how to melt. So there are two processes. Microwave very easily it will melt. You don't have to worry at all much. If you keep it in a microwave in no time it will melt. So I am trying to because this is a already done and kept. I am just mixing it. This is like a preparing a soap base. So two, three PS soaps I am I'm adding into this and I am going to keep it in microwave. Those who do not have the microwave, there is an other method also that is called double boiling. That means you should not put directly on the stove. You have to put the soap in one container 
and then that container you have to put it in the boiling water. So that is a mechanism that is called double boiling because it is directly UV, so it will uh, burn and it will you won't get the proper result. So let us go and then put it one in the microwave and the other in the uh, on the stove for double boiling so that I can show both. So I am taking these two. See, I have kept the water ready for uh, uh, this to melt. So let's see. This is called double boiling since they are borosil uh, regular my baking uh, containers. So I have kept it borosil being class. I can keep it directly. What we use it in the chemistry lab also. All the equipment will be made of borosil glass. This is now. This is called double boiling. I am not putting the uh, stove directly on the stove. Rather, I am putting it in the boiling water. So let's wait for some time. Similarly, I am adding. I am keeping one more here in the uh, microwave. So microwave also doesn't take much time because of the quantity. I'll just keep it for uh, one minute at 80 degrees centigrade. So both of them. That's a small quantity, so I kept it. Uh, so you are knowing if there is no microwave, you are doing it in a double uh, container. You are, I mean the double boiling, it is called double boiling. If you have a microwave, you can do that with it also. So both of them are okay. This is, uh, that's what I said, no? double boiling mechanism. So still it is taking more time. Whereas if I have probably grated, if you are do, doing it in the on the stove with the double boiling, grating is better because they become smaller pieces. Never add water. Don't think that I can add water. No, don't do that. Right? It has to be on its own. So now I am taking the other one. In the microwave it is over. So I will take out quickly. Uh, as it is, the aroma is so good. This is what is the melted state and if I don't do it quickly, it will solidify again. So here it is very very easy. So now as I told you, I am just trying to take this as a mold or I will take the other mold and mix it in that itself. So for example, I have got uh, the today yesterday cake one is there. These are very very easy to use as mold. So four varieties will come in this itself. So I will try to and to do that generally uh, uh, if you are using the mold proper mold then you don't have to add anything. Otherwise like any other sweets or anything it is better you add oil so that it will not get stuck easy to remove the mold uh, soaps from the pot. It will, they will come out naturally, very easily they come out. So this is what I am trying to put instead of directly one of this one and in that itself I will try to melt. So this is orange one and one lemon. These are all the peels, so I will, they will be appearing like that itself. So this is uh, mango. So all the fruit varieties, they come, they look very attractive. Nothing to worry. I have done before also, and then we have to stir it afterwards. So now into that mold and. And while doing it, you can even afterwards, once it's for setting it, suppose it is very fast again solidifying, nothing to worry. You can again re-melt it, again put it for some more time and then again do it.
and if it is uh, other afterwards you can also keep it if suppose for whatsoever reason if you feel that it is still liquidy it is not hard if you get that doubt then you can put it in a uh, regular uh, freezer also for some time so within half an hour to one hour they will become just like uh, your regular soaps it will come out so this much has already is getting solid nothing to worry you can again reheat it melt it and use for the other soaps see the aroma so yeah you can only you can't experience in a video but for making i am just getting i am sure my rohit also is getting the aroma are you getting aroma yes ma'am get it getting tempted see now it is already solid now so that means that i cannot use it anymore i can only reuse it i mean i can melt it and put it otherwise it will not get mixed so now this will be lovely small small fruit ones these are all so fruit pieces will be in the middle floating already it is solid by the time my other things are over i think i can show you this so four fruit varieties are ready i'll just melt it and again come back in microwave it will take very less time see still that one is lesser quantity but not over that i deliberately kept it aside so that in white and rumus combination will be nice hmm. see i can we can again reheat it and then use it only thing is that speed is required Here it was too small, so I'm adding a little more soap here. So now to the brim I have put it so that at least uh, let the soap be. Now I will switch or move to at least two varieties of rose. I am sure everybody will be looking forward to, including my nephew. So he said that is his favorite. I am taking another mold for him. In this. Actually, if it is a transparent one, I wanted to try with a transparent one. That is the reason I used the other phone. I mean, the other soap, but somehow it is a commercial one, not to my satisfaction. So now, in this, we are going to add this type of. This is also one biscuit packet one, and this is one cake one. So these things, use and throw, you can around say. If not that, regular plastic lids also are okay. They are all for different shapes purpose. There is no other purpose. So in between, I am trying to add some petals. So that when they in between, so petals will keep coming to say that it is rose. Yummy. The aroma is so good. I didn't use any other synthetic one. I thought I'll use rose water. I thought I will use uh, so many other essences that I have, but I have not used anything. Purely just plucked one rose from my own garden. And here, one jasmine also has fallen. <laughs> Maybe yes. So let's wait for this also to. Solidify. Now, shall we make another jasmine one or a neem one? So neem is because now for this season neem is very very good. So let's make a neem one. So I am taking this container and uh, mixing the neem. As you see, again it is getting. 
So we have again remelted it in the microwave. So let's go and then add another ingredient and then do it. So now I'm going to take the neem and the neem one in another mold. As I said, we don't have to worry about so fast it gets hardened. So let me do it quickly. And now Corona season, so best thing to use is the neem soap and this aroma is so good, so good I tell you. We are enjoying here, the way the aroma is spreading everywhere, fantastic. So it's uh, our neem soap is ready and uh, in this every soap, the first what I did, I have added almond oil a bit and then uh, vitamin E capsule vitamin E then uh, we have added uh, aloe vera and all the base things what are all good for the health we have already done so now only for flavors I am changing the different molds that's that so now again this will become our neem cake so what I will do this neem cake I am going to Keep it in a, almost everything, whatever so far I have done for a speedy this one, little after it cools down a bit, I will put it back in the uh, refrigerator, freezer so that the process will be faster. So now I am going to take for my grandchild in her pussycat mold, one with the jasmine one. So fast it is, soap is solidifying, so we have to be very quick because I am making different varieties, small small I have a problem, otherwise it is not a problem if you are doing it one at a time. Just like when we make the sweets and all in the house, how we have to be very proper with the paka and then uh, do it quickly, same method here also. You have to be very quick in making it. Either I can melt it and come back. Let me, instead of adjusting like this, let me melt and come back. This is for my cute little one. I am going to melt again and then come back in a minute. Pass. So, as I said, any time, first, if you cannot do it, you can always reheat it and then we put it. This is a silicon mold. So I am putting it in a silicon mold. The remaining one, I am going to add it to my other uh, neem one because neem is very, very essential now. After it cools down a little, I am going to put them in the microwave, All, I am sorry not microwave, in a freezer and already I have kept some in the freezer, now we can see the status of them, what all, whether if they have solidified or not. And uh, another important thing that you should know. Again back to my students about the colors, what makes them so different in colors and different in this thing. So basically uh, pigments will be there, these pigments we all know, even the black to look red also, there is a pigment, whatever it gives the, for us to look whether it is dark at some places or somewhere fair, somewhere light, all this because of the pigmentation that happens. So these uh, similarly, even the uh, flowers, fruits will have different different pigments that cause different colors. So most of the very bright colors we see blue, red, 
isn't it? Pink, purple, very glaring colors. Why do the petals have like that such bright colors? As I already in my previous reason to attract for pollination. So that is the reason why it will be the colors are different. So how do they we get the colors? We have got anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are uh, pigments, different pigments, which will bring you, they are called flavonoids and then they give the blue, pink, bright colors that we find in the flowers. So this is, if it is looking red because of anthocyanin. If this is, this is our green, the most of the leaves are because of chlorophyll. So certain colors are very, very strong. So these pigments, will give that different colors. In fruits, we all know. We all know that fruits also have very nice colors like uh, mango is yellow in color and then the grapes are bluish grapes and uh, so like that different different things are there and uh, different colors orange is orange in color. So with respect to fruits, we call them as carotenoids. Carotenoids give the different bright colors like orange, uh, yellow in lemon and all these things in fruits, the colors that come because of carotenoid pigment and in flowers it is it is anthrocyanins, in uh, plants it is chlorophyll. So these are the different names of the pigments that give different colors to the uh, either it is a fruit or a, this one. And interestingly I have done uh, um, Rose, that rose color, which is very, very bright red like this, colors change. You all know very well, even in a brinjal, it will be cut in the water so that they don't turn blue. So these are all chemical reactions that take place, even in the fruits and vegetables also. The, such a lovely pink, I mean, beautiful red, rose, uh, rose essence and rose petals. I will show you right now by taking out from my freezer. Let's see what color it has turned in. I am taking out some of the soaps that I have already kept inside the freezer. I have kept uh, one. This is the rose petals one. These are the two, first two, four fruits were. This is again rose petals. This is uh, again uh, these two, these three now are neem. And these varieties were four. This I, I we have to check because we have used the cut peels. This will generally takes longer time because there are solid particles inside that. So now because this is uh, hot still. I'll just wait for some more time to keep, but the whatever I have already kept before, let me test how it will be. And this one also, as I said, what I have used the mold, real mold is very, very easy to take out also. But that again, I have to melt a little and then pour it so that it will get a good finish. Now, because this is the last uh, bit, it's not uh, looking nice, but this is the previous one which I will try to go cut open and then see. So let me try now with each one whether they open properly or not. And still I have got the soap to do but to do the remaining ones. Process is the same so I don't have to repeat and show you. So what did we do? First we have taken a pure glycerin soap, PS, because we cannot get the soap base in the market now. And then we have added vitamin E capsule, we have added um, our um, from uh, my own garden, aloe vera gel, oh, and then I have added almond oil little, and I have added lemon juice. All these are very good for the skin. That is the reason there is absolutely not a single essence. In fact, I have uh, at home uh, tulsi also. I have uh, lemon tea also and I also have haldi, haldi drops, turmeric drops also. So these are all there in the house 
which if you don't have anything you can use with those things also but let me not i have not used today wow i use the knife sharp knife like this and then this is ordinary plastic ones which we can throw it also so this is how the mold has come you can see the actually it was red in color you have seen in the beginning early but red petals after just putting up they are at least this much whatever has gone inside they all turned the entire syrup has turned green nobody will believe that seeing the color that it is pure rose essence so these color changes are very common chemical reactions take place and that is the reason they change the colors and let me see one more rose one because this are the best thing is this type of things i have to use as more already it has opened because of solidification on its own we have done without even putting the knife let me just turn it wow oh so beautiful you can see it maybe in another couple of years it will be still more better see pakka and this is like a cake only feeling like eating only oh feeling like taking bath right now for all the effort i have put in to make the soap because it's like it is a little like clumsy work and it looks very pleasant but to make it's not difficult i don't say it is difficult but i have to plan and do everything at one go so only naturally everything every peel cutting into small pieces and steaming it and keeping it so that was a process and then the grinding the neem leaves now we have what fruit varieties i have my own doubts because if i see at the bottom it looks still liquidy so i don't want to disturb that i can see because there is solid pieces i don't want to disturb it now it will take longer time definitely it will take more time ha oh, one is coming out let me check yeah it has come out but it is definitely still wet oh lemon this one is lemon the aroma is so strong do all of them have gone to the same color only as i told you because of the chemical reaction so we have to see these are still wet i cannot do it let me check this one whether it is okay whether it will open or not or if it is still time is to find you i will not be spoiling it so you can take one sharp knife open the edge just carefully and then hit it a bit it looks like it is still uh, ay just come you can see i'm not able to recollect you can see inside and all embedded are i think it is also lemon embedded i have taken the lemon inside lemon and uh, uh this both i have mixed because lemon is having a wonderful smell if it is i am not able to recollect whether it is i have put the lemon uh, peel or the orange orange peel also is very strong so one of them i have put in this but it takes more time to i am in a great hurry to show you all that's the why i am just opening <laughs> before it is not ready and so i don't want to touch that so this is all, all still fresh some are inside and uh, let me close the session i have shown you the models finally i would like to keep the soaps that have come out ready on this tray and present it to you yeah so i should say thank you lockdown period i am able to really explore myself and uh, do not only just teaching also learning for myself so this is my today's product whatever solidified i am removing uh, one in this one is in the cute little mold this was these two or four varieties are there this is rose actually this is pure uh, uh, neem this is a uh, pure aloe vera and this is a fruit based inside there are lemon and orange 
So four varieties because others are taking time in the freezer. So thank you so much. I just love the fragrance. And I am sure you will be using such soaps, making at home. You will stay healthy and you will also spread positivity. And you know all of this, this color therapy is very, very essential. The red color gives you energy, white color gives you soothing feeling, green color gives you an intellectual listing. There is another one big session, I can do it and completely color uh, positivity. So that is a different chapter altogether. But today I enjoyed myself doing varieties, varied varieties of uh, fruit and uh, flower fragrance uh, soaps at home without using any chemical in them. That's the beauty of it. So stay safe. Stay home, stay indoors, so don't curse COVID-19, use the time positively and I have given you a chemistry lesson also on saponification, don't forget that. So that is for all the students who have the class on saponification. Thank you, bye bye, see you, I will come back with maybe another episode uh, that is likely to be in transfer of heat. I cannot say I have got so many ideas bubbling. Um, uh, uh, so transfer of it is another thing very easily too easy to do it at home so maybe I will come back with that uh, concept see you bye bye